Morning, it's Patsy. So I've um, had a really busy week this week. It's been one of those weeks where I just haven't had time um, to, to get on to do too much. So um, this is going to be the week ahead reading rather than the weekend reading. And I think I might do that every week now. Instead of doing a weekend and then a weekly reading, I think I'm just going to condense it into one larger uh, week ahead reading. Um, because this coming week for a start... Um, it's going to be a busy week for me again as um, tomorrow um, is going to be my last day without um, company here at the caravan. Um, my daughter and her husband and granddaughters come in Sunday um, for a few days and I've also got a granddaughter's christening Sunday and um, next week at next week Friday um, I'm meeting a few friends that I've met here on YouTube um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. So I thought this way, if I, do, I keep it to just one reading for the week ahead, um, I'll be able to fit them in. So this is what I've done. Um, so today to do the reading, I'm going to use the Tarot um, ra ra oh, get it out, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Don't know if anybody, there you go, this one. Um, most people who have been on my channel a while will know that I'm not a fan of the um even though I love this RWS system I'm not a fan of the original artwork um but there's something about this deck that I liked and I bought it it's it's borderless and the coloring is a lot better than um on the original deck so um that's the tower I'm using and the oracle I'm going to be using is the Raven's Wand because I really like that and I'm enjoying working with that at the minute so that is um, what I'm going to be using. So I'm doing a six card spread, which I very often will use um, for my larger spreads. And a three cards from the Oracle. So it's a nine card spread really for the week ahead from the 22nd of August. No, the 16th of August to the 22nd of August. I'll get that right. It's the 16th to the 22nd of August. Um, I've already um, done what I do before I deal the cards and I've laid them out. So the first card here is um, the energy that we're kind of bringing into this coming week. And we have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords um, indicates that, you know, um, and I probably should say right from the start that um, this reading probably won't resonate with everyone and um, there'll probably be parts of it that you'll be able to resonate with there'll probably be none that you'll be able to resonate with it's a general reading and it's very hard to sort of resonate with everybody who's going to watch it there may be some cards you can take your own reading away from you know if you read them different to how i've seen it and there may be a message in there that you can take away yourself um so yeah so here we go so we've got the five of swords now to me when the five of swords comes up um, it can very often be about an inner battle, what's going on within you. So it could be that for the, uh, the start of this week, um, some of you are um, starting it off with an inner battle raging within you. Um, the fives is always a kind of um, energy that is quite disruptive. Um, and the swords to me very often is that um headspace of ours you know um so it could be that some of you are, are sort of coming into this week with um some kind of battle going on in your mind about um there's there's probably no one answer because in in this card you see you know they they have won the battle the others are walking away but they don't look like they're really that pleased about the fact that they've won it so it's, it's when i get this card it's usually a feeling of um, you've got this inner battle going on, but there isn't no real clear cut way of um, winning, it, you know, or coming through this, 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 what's going on. For other people, it could be communication. It could be um, that it's going to start the week with some kind of receiving some kind of communication that, um, yes, you know, you've probably um, the one who um, the communication is coming to who um, is feeling um that um that yeah you know I, i've got what i needed but is it really been worth it that kind of feeling or it could be you that's disappointed and walking away um it could be so many different things for so many different people but it, the week's going to start with this disruptive um energy 
whether it's on a communication with yourself or communication from others um that's going to start our week anyway so that is the start of the week ahead so the second card the page of pentacles so with this disruptive energy that we're going to be coming in the week with things are going to start calming down um the pentacles to me is always that um calming energy it's that very earthy energy um so it could be that it's you know this it's just going to be an energy what sort of comes afterwards that things will start to calm down um things will st start moving forward on a um slowly um for you but um it's it's a energy that is pretty slow to start with um but it'll get you to where you need to go but it could even be that this is a regarding a person um it doesn't have to be a male it could be a female but somebody you know from that the um the earth signs you know the taurus uh, virgo or capricorn um or it could be you yourself you know taking the st start time to stand still after all this um disruption that's you know the the five of swords indicate it could be you you know just calming yourself down grounding yourself looking to the future and um working out and laying down plans of how you're going to move forward um but at a slower pace um and taking time to kind of gathering your wits around you and um not make really rushing ahead to do anything but just going to take your time that kind of energy so now twisted that out of the way there the next card the four of wands so the four of wands is um a stable it's a it's about uh stability this you know it's a stable comfortable place the four um so i think you know with this week's going to start with this disrupted energy um you can take time to sort of sit back and look at things and move forwards and you're going to be in a more stable place you're going to be in a better um better headspace a better place to look forward and you know for some of you there may even be um a celebration as i said earlier um i have got a christening coming up so you know this could indicate that others as well as myself have other reasons to be celebrating you know some of you may be going to a wedding this weekend some of you may have an engagement party or a party with friends or um birthday celebrations or any kind of celebrations um comes up with this card so um it, it, you know for some of us we we may be off to you know to do a bit of celebrating this weekend but we also for others it, you know if we've got those celebration lined up it could just mean that this disruptive energy is going to be moving away leaving us in a much better place and leaving us in a lot more stable minded um and more you know happy within their surroundings and at the comfort and what have you and just enjoying the time to to enjoy that stable feeling after all this disruption energy so we then go on to uh, this one and we have the queen of wands so with the queen of wands um she, to me when she comes up she is very um not only intuitive but she's also got that fire energy she's she's um she's got that creative urge to to do you know to do something um so it could be that um you're also going to get a burst of energy um you may want to um take stock of everything what's gone on but you know you feel that there's something that you need to to continue with something you need to build on um the queen you know it could even indicate somebody in your life you know male or female again it doesn't naturally have to be the female just because it's the queen it could be any sex and you know and it's that five energy you know the aries the leo the sagittarius um so it could even be a, a celebration um for this you know a fire fire sign you know it could be celebrating somebody's birthday um because you know that would be around the leo i think we're around leo now something like that um i'm not 100 percent sure on my um astrology but um it could be that that there is a reason to celebrate for for one of these signs signs um but if not it could just indicate that you are in a good place you know um she's holding the 
the wand here and there's lots of growth on there she's got lots of things going on for her lots of abundance around her she's got a little black cat there you know she's she's a wise wise woman so she she's you know looking the way forward she's looking to the, what that passion is within her to sort of move forward um, but just for the time being just enjoying what she's got and taking stock of what she's got before she moves on um, but like I said this could be you it could be somebody in your life um, but it could just be the energy um, and where you're just kind of sitting back and enjoying life um, and what you have um, but looking at sort of moving forward into something else what sort of gives you that bit of passion so the next card is the magician so the week this week ahead after all this turmoil you know and um of that five of sword energy and taking time to sit back and enjoy your surroundings and whatever you're enjoying just being who you are sort of thing you know and enjoying what you have and all the rest of it um the one is a new beginnings you know but then it's telling you that now is the time that you know you can start to think ahead you can start to bring into your life what it is that you want to bring and i think you know with this start of this week with all this kind of energy going on um just taking time to sort of look forward to the future after this energy is gone looking forward and realizing you know what the stability and what you have and everything you can then start putting into action what else you want to manifest in your life you're going to be in a place where um you're going to have a better idea of what you want in your life and it's 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 within your reach you know you can make a success out of anything that you do at the minute especially when there's a magician comes up so you can manifest what you want into your life you can get out there and go for what it is that you want in your life um there's no more sword energy here only the right at the start of the week and you soon clear that away by grounding yourself and um moving forwards into the future and looking forward to the future so after this you know a few days of probably over the weekend contemplating about different things and getting to grips of what everything that you've got and where you are in life um that you will then start to realise what it is that you want from your life and start to want to manifest that into your life and you'll be successful um, if you put the work into doing that. Um, the magician has everything that he wants. He can, you know, manifest whatever he wants. He can mix and match up any of the um, elements that he wants to get to what he wants and that is the same for you. Um, you may have to change things around, move through things, make a few changes. Um, but nothing is impossible for you and you can forge ahead and bring it in whatever it is that you want. So the next card we have is the Justice card. So again, um, this is talking about balance and bringing the, the scales into balance. So, you know, once you've realised what it is that you want into your life and you need to, what, what you need to do, you need to bring this all into balance to be able to forge ahead and and to, to make a go of getting what it is you want into your life. For some of you, it may be that you've had legal battles that um, have been going on or decisions you're waiting for, any of that kind of thing. Well, if that is, then this week uh, could be the week that you're going to get the news that you've been waiting for. And usually, in you know, when the justice card shows up, um, it's, it is, you know, talking about it more than likely being it, the right decision, a just decision, and usually within your favour. Um, but it's also, you know, it's next to the magician card. So you can bring, you've got it within you to bring this balance into your life. It's within you to um, get what you feel is your justice and what you feel you need in your life and what you want in your life. Um, because the, the magician is right next to it. So you, you can manifest this um, balance and fairness into your life. Um, especially after this energy of what is, we started the week with. You know, we're really not knowing and being in a bit of a, a turmoil about everything. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So once you um, start to realise what it is that you want in your life and start, you know, knowing what you want to, to bring in and how to bring the balance in and what have you, you're going to be in a, a really good, happy place. You're going to be in the situation where you're, you're going to realise that you have everything you want 
um, and what you you know you can manifest what you want into your life and make your life what you want of it but your life is pretty good when this card comes up it's pretty good and um, the only thing with the 10 is that that is the end of that cycle so um, you can't stay here we have to carry on moving so it could be that um, emotion you're, you're very emotionally fulfilled you, you know that you feel really great emotionally but there's probably something missing a bit of passion um, a bit of um, something to work towards that kind of thing um, so yes you're on an emotional high and things are great but there's still more things to be doing um, and not to rest here sort of thing but to, to keep moving forward now this comes in the corner with the celebration so the celebration what's going on this weekend for some of us may be to do with family um, maybe family related because you know this is the family card so it could be um, that this celebration or news or whatever you've got going to come in it could very well be that it's related to family matters um, oh, the wind here is really bad and it's raining so the next card is the three of wands so the three of wands is you know, very much what i just said about the ten you know emotionally you're in a good place by the end of the week you're starting to feel that you're in a good place but you're still looking to that future there's still things that you want to do things you want to come into your life things you're waiting for to happen um and and this card is telling you that that you know in time have a little bit of patience things are coming and things will start to come in as you hoped um but we always need to have our eye on the future um and carry on you know life doesn't come to a standstill we always need to look forward and plan ahead and that kind of thing um but this card sort of indicates that these new beginnings and these new things that you're starting to manifest and put out there this week is going to start coming back in back to you know start coming to you start coming back into your life and then we end with the ace of pentacles which um is a new beginning on um that very earthy um beginning you know so it could be that some of you um could be start a new work job new homes um or just an, uh, something new um in 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 life you know in um in our everyday life sort of thing so this comes with this the five of swords so it could very well be that some of you um had this in a battle about something that you, you you've been thinking about you know so it could be work related um you're in a good job but there's another job opportunity but do you take it do you not because you know what are you going to gain if you do is it going to be worth all the disruption and, and, and that kind of thing well this tells you by the end of the week you're going to be have made the decision be, uh, and, and go for this new job for others of you if you're, you're considering moving home but you're in this still got this mental um turmoil going in your head whether it's the right decision or not by the end of the week um it's bringing in this energy where you, you realize that there is time for this new start that you do want to move forward to this new start so whatever started the week off in this kind of um turmoil energy this sort of um disruptive energy what you can't quite work out what's going you know which way to go or what's going to how it's going to work out and is there going to ever be a winner and is it is there a right right way a wrong way or whatever by the end of the week you're going to have, have, have made your decision and move forward in a new way with new beginnings and i think what you know what it's saying is you you need to ground yourself and look at all the the things that you've got in your life the stability and everything but if the you know we want more um, or we feel we, our life needs more in their lives because we can't stay in one place even if emotionally we you know we are satisfied we very often have that gut instinct that gut feeling that's you know yes we may be emotionally happy and we may be in a good place but things can soon turn stagnant and sometimes that there is more to life than just settling and sometimes we have to take risks to kind of move forward and um we can manifest what we want into our lives, you know, and finding that right balance of staying emotionally stable, staying in, you know, in a happy, good place, but, you know, also having that passion and moving forward to do other things in life as well. And yes, you know, sometimes 
we have to be patient, a bit more patient and um, wait for the outcome. But we have to kind of set seeds and emotions to, and send, you know, out to the universe to, for it to come back to us. Um, so this is what I kind of feel this week's all about. And by the end of the week, we're going to have made this decision that, yes, we do need, need to move forward. And there is new beginnings um, for, me, for, for many of us. Like I said, it won't be for everybody. It'll only be for some... Um, and I'll leave the cards there and some of you may take a message from it different to what I've given because like I said we all read cards differently and very often some people will see something completely different in, um, in, in what they see to what other people see but um, whatever this strife was at the beginning of the week by the end of the week we're going to have a, a clearer mind and know which way we want to go forward and bring this new energy in there's going to be celebrations for some probably to do with the family with these two cards and um, we're going to have this grounding energies coming in um, for us um, and help us manifest um, things that we want to come to us in the future and start you know, laying down the foundations that we want um, for things to start coming back to us, you know, the the Knight of Pentacles um, always gets every, you know gets it done in the end, but it is a bit slower than any other the night. So um, it may be a slow a slow process, but we all have to start somewhere, and it may be that it may take a time to kind of manifest itself, but it's going to. Um, and then you know, again, we're talking about the stability and balance in life to to start this something new that we want to be starting with these ones, and. Um, the the um the energy here could you know what we started the week off this turmoil and this um this feeling of um things not you know not quite right and you know fighting in the head sort of thing that kind of energy if we just sit and take time out and listen to our own intuition and um be in a you know in a, in a place where um we can think more with um with a bit more you know fire sort of thing um a bit more passion and and know what we want to forge ahead with you know we we will emotionally realize you know that it, there is other things that we we were even though we're emotionally you know happy and what have you that sometimes we need to follow our passions as well you know it, because that makes it whole it makes the whole rainbow doesn't it you know when we're not just happy emotionally but we're happy all round then we know we're in a, in a better place we bring the rainbow over our life and I think that's what the queen of wands is telling you um that you know sometimes we have to take risks um she's the queen so she's she's taken them all before um she knows that sometimes it doesn't work in your favor and she knows sometimes it does work in your favor but you got to try you got to find that find you into it you know follow your intuition and um keep moving forward um take risk when you need to and enjoy the times when there isn't no risk but we have to manifest what it is we want into our lives and you know lead us to this rainbow and um, not on, just on an emotional level but on all levels and by the end of the week we're going to have this new new energy coming in allowing us to have these new beginnings now that sounded a bit rambly to me and i apologize for that but i'm trying to think on my feet today and my head's not in the best of places <laughs> but let's go to the oracles and the first one is ebb and flow so to me ebb and flow this one talks about life is full of ebb and, ebb and flows isn't it um we have things coming into our lives we have things going out of our life um, sometimes we can fight against it um, sometimes we just go with it and allow these things to sort of come and go um, without rising up to it and I think this is what it's telling you about the five of swords sometimes there's situations around that we can't really do much about sometimes it's best just to um, allow it to take its own course just to allow the nature's ebb and flow of life take over it and just go with it and that's very much like the the knight of pentacles is very slow um moving but it just goes with the flow of things and um i think this week it's, it wants us to sort of 
realise what's important to us and what's not. Let go of what's not important and um, just go with it, you know, just go with these opportunities, what could come in. Just go with what this passion is that you have in you, what you want to do, um, instead of fighting it. The second one, oh, this one, is Walk With Wings. Um, we had this come out last week as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so again, sometimes, you know, we walk is walking this tight path um sometimes life can throw things at us and it's down to us really whether we walk carry on walking this path and you know with all these thorns in it is probably you know not the particular path that we want to go down but we still go down it we have that choice or she's got wings she could easily fly away she doesn't have to be walking along this this thorny old branch she could quite easily just take off with her wings do you know what I mean and um, there would be no risk involved then we all have that choice you know so yes you know we need to go with the ebb and flow of life and to um, not try to fight fight anything um, and we, we it's always our own decisions we can make our mind up where we want our life to go we can manifest what we want into our life we don't have to force ourselves to do anything if we don't want to we can just take off and do you know go in a different direction if that's where we feel like we want to do um, and the last card is release so you know for us to bring new things in into our life as the ace of pentacles um, we have to release a lot of the old stuff and this is probably what the turmoil has been about you know you may have to be releasing some stuff um, to be able to move forwards we may need to bring this balance into our life um, and manifest you know what we want into our lives but we need to release first what no longer we, we, we no longer need do you know what I mean um, sometimes that can be a difficult path to do because we we don't know what's in front of us you know it, it could be thorny it could be even worse than what we're doing now but if we don't take that risk then will we know so sometimes it's just best to go with the flow just to allow the universe to take us where we need to be and I think this is what the message is this week um, allow ourselves to be guided um, by our own tuition and know that we can manifest what we want into our life um and bring this balance around so you know we're we're balanced on all levels not just emotionally um but sometimes when we are um emotionally balanced you know in this good place with this ten of cups sometimes it's hard to take a risk because we don't want to disrupt that energy we don't want to but you know we started the week with this energy so we're, there's already something going on in our heads that's causing this kind of disruption um so we you know we can't can't you know just rely on staying in this place all the time we we have to move forward we have to manifest other things into our lives and we have to move forward and, and bring in this new energy um to to um cut you know to, to to walk our paths like so that is um the week ahead reading and um i hope you can take something from it and get over my rambling um, I very often ramble when I do readings. It's just the way that I tend to ramble, especially when I've got a camera sticking at my face and my head goes blank. Uh, but um, I hope you can take something from it. And I hope that um, you have a good week ahead. And um, if it's, any of this resonates with you, just kind of let me know or, or not. It's up to you. Um, but it'd be nice to hear if this kind of resonates with what you're going on especially if you're coming into this week with this kind of energy going on then know that by the end of the week you're going to have you're going to have nailed it and you're going to be in a better place to start again um with a new this whole new energy of m moving forward and working um with this energy so with two major cards here as well um it may be an important week for some of us to make these decisions and start manifesting what we want in our life and for some of us me included there's going to be some family celebration coming up this week something that we can celebrate and have fun so there we go so um i will speak to you all soon bye for now